At the start of Dragon Ball Super Broly, they flashed back to when all of the Saiyans were alive. It was a special moment because it was King Cold passing down the Empire to his son. At that very moment, a kid Freezer had all of the power in the universe and the control over an entire race. However, during this period, there was no mention of Freezer's brother and King Cold's oldest son, Cooler. Cooler made his first appearance after hearing about his brother's death to a Saiyan. He came to Earth not because he wanted to avenge his brother, but because he wanted to see the person who was strong enough to do it. Frieza and Cooler probably have the most hardcore sibling rivalry of all time. Cooler even admits that if Goku hadn't killed Frieza, he would have tried to do it himself. So you wonder where this hatred comes from, and I think it's pretty obvious if you look at how King Cold gave a younger, more inexperienced Frieza his throne. This is a story that shows why Cooler does not like his brother. Right at the start of Dragon Ball Super Broly, when King Cold announces his retirement, he has to make a choice between Frieza or Cooler. Who is going to run his army? And in this retelling, Cooler is right there with them. When he steps out to greet King Vegeta, Cold has already made the decision that Frieza will be the new king. And Cooler is just left there thinking to himself, this is the worst decision in the history of decisions. And so that's where it starts. Cooler has always claimed to be stronger, wiser, and better than Frieza. It's a borderline case of he cares more about being better than Frieza than anything else. And that's what King Cold would have seen, and the reason he chose Frieza. This fan story puts the Cold family together like they were close, but the truth is, Cooler was so outcast by his own family that he made his own empire, and he was strong enough to be able to do it. But we saw him on the outskirts of the universe on some tumbleweed planet, compared to what Frieza was given, Cooler had to work a lot harder for a lot less. Even with all of that extra effort, we saw the difference in what a Super Saiyan Goku did to Cooler, opposed to what he did to Frieza. Cooler was always thinking that he was stronger, but that's just not true. He struggled with Frieza even when he transformed. With Cooler, Goku finished him within seconds. So Frieza was born a prodigy. Cooler was born into the same bloodline, but he had to work that much harder. That's how he was able to find a fifth transformation beyond his final form. That is what Cooler is. He is a much less powerful, harder working version of Frieza. I've always seen the Cooler storyline as, this is what would have happened if Goku killed Frieza with the spirit bomb, because naturally his story doesn't fit in with Dragon Ball's flowing continuity. He is known as non-canon. But having said that, it was only one year ago that Broly was as well. From being added into the games and being featured in the front page of Dragon Ball Heroes the promotional anime, Cooler is still relevant to this series. The idea of Frieza having a brother who was not born with a silver spoon in his mouth has massive potential to be retold. Just like how Broly was redone, the same easily could be done for Cooler in a similar kind of way. At the end of the Broly movie, Frieza says that he will come back and that he has something up his sleeve. There could be this trend of popular non-canon movie villains being rebooted into the main series. Cooler and Broly are by far the two most popular, along with maybe Janemba. We've already had Broly, so Cooler could be next, the working class brother of Frieza. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.